bluebells of Korea are always fascinating and very popular in garden for late flowering. Kampanloa Takesimana with its fantastic interior is one of them. Another Korean bluebell is uh, Kampanloa Punktata which also has wonderful interior. Those Kampanloas are growing with underground runners and sometimes are getting even weedy, isn't it, Julian? <laughs> Campanula punctata has also wonderful red form, which is also very popular in gardens and several kind of pink red variations. Campanula takesimana grows only in one spot in East Korea, while Campanula punctata grows overall in Korea, Japan, Russian Far East and even to Ch East, Northeastern China. And some botanists put them together as a synonyms and some botanists uh, look at the differences and keep them as a separate species. So if we want to understand different, we can have a look a bit closer. Those campanulas are quite similar and you can get confused by the spots in the flower since campanula punctata means dots, but this campanula punctata doesn't have any dots. And this Takesimana, it has dots. So the key is are not the dots, but the sepals. Now you see the Campanula punctata are much shorter and th thicker, while Campanula Takesimana are more narrow and longer, quite clear. So here we have punctata and here Takesimana. I have made my own very dedicated research and I find out, found out that actually both Campanula punctata and uh, Takesimana taste same. Very sweet. So they are very close relative. The real gem of Korean campanulas is this one. And the name is surprisingly not campanula, but Hanabusaya. Hanabusaya Asiatica.